Hello, Illumineers. Welcome. I'd like to talk to you tonight about the most anticipated game of 2023, Disney's Lorcana. So this is Disney Lorcana. Uh, it previewed at Gen Con uh, recently, and uh, you may or may not heard that there was some uh, crazy, crazy, crazy th things going on about people who are super, super excited for this game. Now, I didn't get that crazy about it, but I will tell you that I am stoked for Disney Lorcana. Um, so Disney Lorcana is a TCG, a, a tradable card game. Um, and it's going to be, there's different rarity levels for your cards, and it's going to be completely collectible. Um, some people have kind of compared some of the mechanics to it to Magic the Gathering, uh, the most popular, you know, game, uh, uh, card game in the world. I have played the game, and let me tell you, there are some similarities, but my favorite thing about Disney Lorcana is uh, it's got some simplicity, and I think it's a great entry-level game for people of all um, skills. Um, I think this is a great game if you have children who are into Disney, you know, that IP, so if they've never played a collectible card game before, the rules are friendly enough to where you can get it, where it's easy to get into it. But I also think that once they start doing more sets coming down the pipe, um, it will be, there'll be some great things for experienced and more seasoned card game players to learn how to play. A base overview of the type of cards that are in the game. There are four type of cards in the game at launch. You have character cards, such as Ariel. She is in the amethyst color. There are six inks in Disney Arcana. There's amethyst, amber, sapphire, ruby, steel, and emerald. The only rule for making a deck in Disney Lorcana is you can only use a max of two colors to, to create your deck. So only two inks possible to use to make your deck. So like I said before, this is Ariel. She is a character. You have character cards. You have item cards. You have action cards. And then you have my favorite song cards, which are a bunch of famous songs from Out Disney's long list of, of movies. And when you play a song, you're, you can use characters to sing the song, and it does special effects during the game. All right. So a, a basic overview of how the game works. You are um, an Illuminor, that's what your title is called in the game, and you are summoning creatures, uh, characters from Disney lore to complete quests. And the way you win this game, as opposed to a lot of other games where you're just trying to damage your opponent and take away their life, which it's, it, that can be sometimes people don't like to play that way. They don't want to hurt people, right? Disney's completely doing it different. You are questing for lore. And the way you win a game is by getting 20 lore. You get lore by summoning characters out and then sending them on an adventure to collect lore. So for instance, Ariel has an ink cost of three, which means it costs three ink, and I'll get into ink in just a second, to cast her out onto the battlefield. And then she has one lore. So when she quests, which means you exert and turn her sideways, she quests for one lore. You win the game by occurring 20 lore. Now, your opponents, however, can do a thing called challenge. All of, the, all of the, the characters have a willpower, which is how much damage they can take until they're banished to your discard pile. They are not destroyed, they're just banished. And then they have a, a fight prowess, which is how much damage they can inflict on a challenger to whittle down your opponent as they challenge you. So, back to Ariel. Ariel has a fight of two and a willpower of three, which means she can take three damage when she's challenged before she gets uh, banished to your discard pile. She would do two damage to whoever is challenging her. Now, and like some games you may not have played before, damage stays in this game. So you would play with counters. So if Ariel were to do two damage to someone who has a willpower of four, they would be down to two willpower and the counters don't go away until that character gets banished. <clears throat> now, some of the cards also have ab abilities on them. For instance, Ariel has an ability called Musical Debut. Um, she, so she will let you delve into your deck. When you play her, you can look at the top four cards of your deck, put one in your hand, place them back in any order. Different mechanics like that that you may have seen in other collectible card games before. So 
Song cards are one-time action use cards. When you play them, something happens. For instance, grab your sword is you deal two damage to all opposing characters. However, the song cards have an ability called uh, Sing. So they have a, a, like, grab your sword. It costs five to, sing, to cast this card. However, Ariel is a, considers as a singer five. So what you can actually do is, if you have a character who has, is a singer, she's singer five, which means she can exert and sing this five casting cost card for free, and it doesn't cost you any of your ink to cast this card. Same thing with actions. Actions are one-time use. They go to your they go to your uh, discard uh, your discard pile after you play them, and they all do different things. Like for instance, tangled. Each opponent would lose one lore. So if you play this card, your opponents would if they're at four lore, they'd go down to three. And then for items, items stay in play until someone interacts with them and finds a way to get rid of them. And they do different things like healing pollen. Healing pollen actually, when it comes in, you just decide when you want to banish it, and then it remove up to three damage from a chosen character. So you're asking yourself, how do I, you Tim talking about ink, how do you get that out? So what it is, each turn, you can put one card into your ink well, which is, uh, so you start with seven cards in your hand, and then there are two different types of cards with different symbols. So the aerial card, she has the gold symbol around her casting cost. That means she can be placed into the ink well. Grab your sword does not have the gold symbol, which means you cannot use this in your ink well. What you have to realize, when you draw cards, you start off with seven cards in your hand, you can put one card into your ink well each turn. You reveal the card that you're gonna place into your ink well. For instance, I would reveal Ariel. Ariel goes face down into my ink well, and now I can use her to exert to bring out a card for its casting cost. What you have to remember though, is whenever you put a card into your ink well, you can never get that card back. It is gone from the game. It's basically considered just a resource to get your other cards out. <clears throat> and that is how you cast the different cards in the game. The other rule is too, is once you put cards in your ink well, you cannot go back and look at the cards later game to see, I can't remember if I put Ariel in ink well or if I didn't. Once they're in the ink well, they're off limits except exert them to gain ink to cast your spells. So, like I said, I have played a couple games of it and I absolutely love it. I, I think that Ravensburger, who makes the game, has really hit the nail on the head with inviting everyone in to play. Um, this is a great game to play with your kids. It's a great it's a great to play with your gaming group, especially, like I said earlier, if you're into the Disney IP, there's all kinds of deep cuts. There's cards from Treasure Planet. There's cards from, you know, Frozen. All the big hit, big hitters have them. But then there's, you know, cards from like the Aristocats. And there's car cards that you may not actually think of. Uh, you know, Emperor's New Groove, things like that, that you may not actually think of. But they're, they're really expanding their horizons to include be inclusive of all of their different car their cartoons and their movies throughout their history. Um, They've already announced that they're going to be doing a second second chapter, uh, which is apparently will be, it's tended to release in November. So they really are pretty sure that this game's going to take off. And from all of the things I've read online and the people that are, there's, there's genuine, genuine excitement for this game. Um, and a lot of it's got to do with, you know, you have people too that they grew up with Disney movies and, 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 and they, they want to kind of be in that world and, and, Quest is Mickey Mouse and, and be goofy and, and, and be Minnie Mouse and you can control L. You know, they're just like I said, the, the vast majority of the characters you can play with in the first set is, is just, it's, it's overwhelming. There's just, it's really, really, really simplistic. But like I said, as the game evolves, uh, tactics will evolve and the game will get, um, you know, better for people who may think it's a little kitty out of the box, but super seasoned game players. I'm really, really excited for this game. I think you will be too. Um, we will, you know, we're gonna be, have this product at the store, um, you know, when we can keep it in stock, because like, it's, it's, it's super, super popular. Um, but I just really strongly suggest that if you are a, a, a long time card gamer, or if you've never played a card game before, and you'd wanna jump in, I think Disney Lorcana is a fantastic spot for you to jump into the game uh, and, and really just kind of build up a, a great um, uh, passion for this game. We're going to try to, you know, we're going to do some good things here at the store soon when everyone's able to get product. We're going to, you know, we're going to do some events. We're going to try to have some nights for Arcana. We really, really want to build it up because I really believe in it, and I really think 
you guys will really enjoy the game. So um, as always, you know, come stop by, see us, pick up some Disney Lorcana products, and um, yeah, just really enjoy the game, guys, because I think it's going to be a, a real hit. So enjoy it.